Hi guys, I'm Lori. I'm David. And this is Mermaid and Jet Adventures. channel uh, we've been on vacation for about two months meaning we haven't put out a video in about two yeah. months and we decided since it was fall time we're getting close to our trip yep we got 52 days left so we're really excited uh, we thought we would put out a video and get back into the swing of things before we attempted to do any sort of vlogging um, closer to the timeline we go so we don't really have any trip specific information to talk about today but we do have something that is kind of trip related and has been a pain in our butts yeah, so... Um, For years now, in various ways. <laughs> yeah, so today we're uh, trying out a, out a new camera. Or actually, it's an old camera old that camera. Lori has. Um, this is the camera we used before. Uh, it's a Canon Viva... A, a Canon Vixia HF... R70 or something. R70. So it's like a camcorder style with the viewfinder, like that. And you zoom in and zoom out on the top. It's kind of heavy. It's it, it's okay, I guess, but it's kind of awkward in the hand. Um, so we did have one like this in about two years ago. And what happened to that one? That one got dropped in the ocean. Uh, by someone. <laughs> and then this one on our last trip in May um, got broken by someone uh, who, I don't know what happened, dropped it on the 105 degree pavement yep. of Animal Kingdom parking lot and then kicked it underneath the car. Yeah. Thank goodness our friend Chantal was with us. She, I think she burned her arm I think so. on the blacktop, like crawling under to get it. But unfortunately, yeah, as you can see, the strap broke. Mm -hmm. So now it, we can't, like the hand strap, now it's hard to hold and because it's heavy on the one side with the viewfinder. And then oh, there's lots of scratches on it. And the quality of this camera was never really the best. It was a replacement we bought yeah. like part way through a trip. Um, because our other one fell into the ocean um, but it does have really good it has not the best um, like the stabilization is okay but it doesn't have the best picture and we also found that um, it's just not an, a very easy to handle like you can't just bring it out in a quick moment yeah it was uh, a lot of times on our last trip we found oh that was something cool let's videotape it um, we, have to, we can't really keep this in our pocket, so we have to dig it out of the backpack, turn it on, yeah. put it, you know, fit, have, fit the hand thing on, and make sure you're stabilized. And by that time, all that all, all that work, it was like yeah. the thing we wanted to show you was gone. So it was like, well, that's kind of uh, defeats the purpose. Yeah. So we are going now with a different camera. It's more compact that could fit in our pocket. So this is a temporary situation. We're using my old camera. It's a Canon PowerShot SX600 HS. So it's a couple years old. It does take really good pictures. The video was okay, yeah. but not the low light picture. Um, and as we know, you can't have your flash running when you're on a lot of the ride. So um, we wanted to just, just give it a shot to see if potentially this could work as sort of a at home for videos yeah. camera until we get another camera. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like a test. Yeah. And um, we, so in addition, so that's coming up, it's our new trip coming up. We want to ask you what you want to see on our vlogs. Yeah. Because we always kind of show things, but like we never, know, you know, uh, leave a comment down below of what you actually want to see and we'll try to film it. So we did have a couple of ideas in terms of changing up the format of how we film, I guess vlogs would be the right yeah. word, how, our park videos. Um, what we've classically done is showed you a lot of stuff, but not really been in front of the camera or had like conversations about like yeah. what we're seeing or what we hope to do. It's just a lot of like, hey, this is what's going on, which yeah. is great. Mm -hmm. But I th we thought maybe you guys would enjoy more of a what we hope to do at the parks or like before we get there or like what uh, our morning looks like. Just, you know, having us have a conversation and then showing you like how we do Tomorrowland or something yeah. and what we like to do. It was the uh, smaller camera. We should be, it should be easier to, for, to film out ourselves. Yes. Um, the uh, camera we had before is it, very unclunky, and yeah. to try to turn it around backwards in selfie style was impossible. Yeah, it was impossible. So we basically just filmed things that were going on in kind of like a little bit of the rides, but not much of us. And also because it's off balance with the big viewfinder that slides out, it also almost made it impossible for like little tiny. Um, 
uh, a little little pods or tripod things. Little tripods. Uh, handheld, so. basically handheld tripods. I think yeah. are, are the name of them. I think we're looking at like some either the gorilla one or maybe a small one. And if anyone's ever used like the Pixie Manfrotto one, it's like a real tiny one, and. We're looking for something just to make our lives a little easier and also yeah. to get us on camera a little bit more talking about stuff rather than like sort of a weird handheld angle. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're looking at maybe like a snapshot of what it's like in the park and like, oh, you know, showing some of the rides and some fun stuff as well, but also trying to like get in yeah. and like <laughs> talk to the camera a little bit more. Yeah. I just saw something new to change it up a bit. Yeah, definitely. So this um, feels more, much better in my pocket. I've, you know, instead of the big bulky one, like, so that, that, this will be uh, good. Let, let us know how the quality of the video looks on YouTube. Like I say, we may end up getting another PowerShot or Canon or Sony. Yeah. A small, because the problem with this one is it doesn't have a flip screen, so it does make it tricky to do that sort of hands-on thing. Like, if we were to talk to the camera, we wouldn't be able to see yeah. what we're doing. So, but we just wanted to use this camera for a little bit, just sort of like remind ourselves about like a camera style, uh, yeah. um, uh, the benefits of a camera style uh, video recorder. It's a camera. But camera it's slash video recorder, it kind of does yeah. both. Um, so yeah, that's what we're uh, doing. So uh, as always, leave a comment down below. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you want to see in, in the future uh, vlog or park videos. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the uh, long delay, but uh, with October, we have a special surprise. We have um, coming up, we're going to have a video of uh, a haunted hotel we went to. Yeah, I forgot about that actually. We stayed at the Hotel Fort Gary um, in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is a classically haunted hotel. So we'll so some, so show some shots of that, some video of that, and I think I also said the story maybe. Yeah, there's a bit of a story uh, behind it. Um, yeah, which we'll it. talk about on the video yeah. um, that's coming up in the next little. Bit. We're not too sure when, but sometime in October for yeah, Halloween. Exactly. All right, so that's it for today. A little bit of a rambly video, but uh, <laughs> we're just getting back into the swing of things. So until we talk to you next time, take care. Take care.